so what kind of a low life is going around swiping artwork from the in house gallery of a startup hub in downtown Syracuse, New York. So I've just learned that during the pandemic, we had a show scheduled uh, to run until the end of May by a group from uh, just outside of Syracuse and learned today that two artworks by the same artist were removed. I'm not saying stolen yet, but they were removed or that's what we're hearing. What do we get? Some pizza. Oh, look at that. All that cheese. And then I can save some money on household goods. Hey, those look interesting. On the, road. the things people send you. And as long as they arrive intact, all good. We'll solve our mystery later. Because what we have here is a fascinating grab bag of goodies. Let's, let's, let's take them all one at a time here. We have a school crossing sign in metal. <laughs> Haven't got anything like this in my... I love signs. Little signs for like a, a, a railroad kit or a play kit. And it's a mixed jumble junk drawer Score. This looks like a Lido toy soldier, army man with its uh, webbed helmet. We'll have to look into that. I think it's Lido. And here we have what's left of a Timmy toys. Uh, I guess that's an M60 machine gun gunner. Boy, he's got this quite the snub nose model of that. Next up, we have a nice, this looks like a Mark's Training Center marching figure. No markings on the bottom. And we will go to ToySoldierHQ.com for uh, a session of trying to match these. Ooh, nice. It looks like another Mark's Training Center early 45 millimeter. Toy Soldier, Army Man, and then this odd egg, Psychedelic Swirl Shotgun Rider for a stagecoach, I think. Something like that. He's interesting. Pilot figure, driver figure, sitter figure. That's the word that I'm looking for. A sitter. Nice face. That's a nice piece. Have uh, fun figuring out who and what that is. And yeah, it feels like a harder plastic, where those are all softer plastic. <coughs> Pardon me. I have a browning. I, I think that's a browning. Or is it a maxim? I think it's a browning. M1917 air cooled machine gun, or is that water cooled? And obviously it's meant to go on, on some sort of a vehicle. And I will have all sorts of fun using it to create ironic juxtaposition in space-themed art. And I guess that's all of the uh, soldier figures out of the packet now. And then we get back into more common territory. Here's a... I think he's holding a pistol. Mark's figure. I guess I don't have that one. Thought I did. He's missing his helmet, obviously. Uh, Rex Mars era. Hard, uh, soft plastic, sorry. Not vinyl. No marks on the bottom. 1954, 1955, something like that. Post, at, post meaning after the uh, Space Patrol and... Tom Corbett's Space Academy era. The Rex Mars was the generic name that, that Marks came up 
for their Spaceman from that series after the licensing ran out. Here's a nice standing Tom Corbett. Hands on his hips. Who's a mark? Marks a match for this guy here from my collection. Also a Tom Corbett. Hands on his hips. Whoa, looks like he's missing his bionic eye. Remember that, the $6 million man? Or was it the $6 million man? You'd look down through his head and there'd be like a little reverse periscope or whatever. So we got a, a Tom Corbett out of it. And we got a seated soft like that Tom Tom here is a vinyl it's stiff but it's it's I don't mm, might be soft plastic where this one is definitely a vinyl yeah so that's a soft plastic on the right vinyl on the left same pose but with the base added for extra stabilities and here's a, a seated Tom Corbett Space Academy era figure. He's going to get a washing. Even if that's paint, it can be removed. I kind of like it. It's someone's toy. It was someone's toy. So it's okay to have it a, a bit messed up. And the piece de resistance is that I finally have this guy. This damn thing which is one of the Marx aliens introduced with the Tom Corbett. I think, I think he was used in all the sets. Tom Corbett, Space Patrol, and then later in, in different forms with uh, Operation Moonbase and the giant Martian landing. His happy, mousy face uh, has been all over the Marx space figure legacy in all sorts of different forms no markings on the bottom uh, because he has a base he's not from the original production run probably 1953 to 1954 somewhere in there uh, pretty sure although they, they were he's soft plastic don't want to get ahead of myself I don't think that's vinyl I'm pretty sure that's a soft plastic and I don't like him. I'm glad to finally have an example. And the, the price was right, especially with all the other wonderful bling that came with it. But I don't like him. And add him to my collection with a sense of relief. That, oh, I finally got one. And I was able to get it for less than 15 bucks. His nose has seen better days. Looks like it might have even been chewed on at one point. Two... Happy! Silly Mark's space alien to join the rest of them. And we're done. Now I get to contemplate more about someone swiping artwork from my gallery. How low can you go? But there's a bright spot in the day, and I'm out of here.